Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of AVA Rigs. I'm Matt, today we're going to be going over this PC. Today we've got ourselves a Fractal Design Define 7 XL. It is a full-size tower case, so it is very large, especially with the XL on the name. It is a lot bigger than the regular Define 7. Um, we've got a an Asus ROG Strix Z390E gaming motherboard with a 9700K in there. Uh, it does have an overclock on it. Uh, again, mild overclock between 10 and 20 percent. Uh, cooling that off, we've got the Asus ROG Ryujin, Ryujin, something like that. I don't know the exact pronunciation, but uh, it's 240 millimeter AIO. You're able to put GIFs, GIFs. I know we had this argument already, but one of those um, on the screen. It's only up to like five megabytes, so it's nothing crazy. It's not going to be like the um, uh, uh, NZXT, the new Krakens. You're not going to be able to put like a video on there. It's going to be a lot more basic. Uh, we've got 32 gigs of Vengeance, Corsair Vengeance LPX memory. It is 3200 megahertz, which is excellent. Uh, a 2060 Asus card. It is the OC edition. Um, very good card. Excellent cooler on it. Um, I do like that they put, and a lot of them do nowadays, but I do like that they have this nice back plate on the card. Helps with uh, card sag and everything over the years. Um, we've got three Corsair LL, I'm sorry, not LLs, QL 120s. Again, those are the ones that are going to have the colored loop on the inside and the outside of the fan. Um, so it adds a little bit of extra flair to your PC, especially if you've got it up on your desk. Um, or in this case, uh, a solid front panel where you're unable to see through and you have a, a glass side panel, you're still able to get some of that RGB goodness. Excuse me. Uh, we also have a 970 Evo Plus, uh, one terabyte NVMe drive, very fast, excellent, arguably one of the best NVMe drives. Uh, though Gen 4 is out and it's getting pretty nasty out there, uh, I will say Gen 4 drives are, are pretty wicked fast. Um, unfortunately, you're unable to take advantage of that with a Z390 board. The Z490 boards are able to uh, use Gen 4, but uh, at Gen 4 speeds technically, but there's nothing uh, processor-wise that's able to handle it for Intel yet. So right now Ryzen's kind of taking the top spot for uh, storage options. Um, it also has an 860 Evo SSD. Uh, it's 500 gigs. That's going to be for um, you know obviously any kind of videos or pictures, whatever. Most of the Stuff that they don't need to load very fast on this PC. Um, we've got a 1300 watt EVGA power supply. It's a little overkill, honestly. 9700K is only 95 watts. Um, you know, 2060, it's not a super, 20, just a regular 2060. Isn't drawing that much power in the rest of the case. There's not very much in there that needs that, but they're kind of future proofing themselves that way. Um, in the front of the case, you can't, probably can't see it, but there is a custom cable mod RGB strip. Um, the one thing I like about this, which I need to pick one up myself, is that it's actually got a UV um, setting or UV light strip also built into it. So um, in my secondary system at home, I've got a custom water loop on it, which I put UV um, color dye into it. and when you have a strip like this you can hit that uv light and it'll all glow which i think is really cool i think that'd be a lot of fun um in the top of the case here we've got an asus optical drive i know you don't see those a lot of times anymore not a lot of people using cds mostly usb stuff like that but it is nice to have for that last resort you need to download windows onto your pc or whatever it may be um you know drivers whatever i don't know what people really use discs for anymore but um, able to burn stuff, whatever you want to do, you've got the ability to. Something I'm forgetting. What am I forgetting? It's everything. I said the RAM. Oh, recording? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hello again, everyone. So they are also using Corsair XTM50 thermal paste in this case. Personally, I don't know too much about Corsair's thermal paste. Um, I usually stick to Arctic Silver or, um, you know, uh, Icy Diamond, 
something like that. But uh, it did really well thermal wise, so I can't complain. Well, that wraps things up for today, everybody. Thanks again for checking in. Um, if you guys have any questions, again, always feel free to reach out to us. We are on Facebook, um, you know, Twitter, YouTube, obviously, wherever you want to check out. We're probably there. Um, again, my name is Matt. This is AVA Riggs. You guys have a great rest of your day. If you like the PC in this video, be sure to contact our sales team at sales at avadirect.com or you can head over to our website by clicking on the link in the description below. You can choose from many pre-built options, gaming or workstation based, or use our configurator to build a PC of your dreams. Be sure to click that thumbs up button and subscribe, and don't forget to follow our social media channels at avadirect.com.